So the boiler is running great, but we got one problem. We got a bad condensate sensor. First thing we gotta do is locate the sensor, which is typically the hardest part because no one ever marks down where they put it. This off. Condensate sensor and a common, so it's the gray and red. Across the conduit. Is this we got a hose clamp up there, so we gotta find this nut driver. Oh wait, hang on. Why is this on so tight? I'm gonna try not to forget that. So now we can bring it over here and let it cool off. While the old sensor is cooling off, we're gonna take a reading on the new sensor and the outdoor sensor because they use the same resistor and the same ohm reading. So we take inside, they give you the temperature and the ohm reading. Then we take our meter, we flip it to ohms. Then we take our sensor and our two leads. Just like that, and we are getting a reading of 7,520, it's counting down. Anytime you wanna do something like this, it's good to let everything sit in the same room and the same space, you know, really close to each other, so they're the same general temperature, so you get a more accurate reading. Now we do the same thing with our sensor. It's 7.491, but we have it's K ohms, so 7,491. Oh, 7,500, mm, that's close enough. So we'll say it was 89 degrees. I'm gonna go put the new sensor on. I'm gonna give time for the old sensor to cool off a little bit. You'll get to the same temperature that the uh, sensors are sitting over here. And we can do one more test with the outdoor sensor and our condensate sensor and see what the difference is. Now be forewarned, the condensate sensor might not be bad. It could be the thermostat wire. So what you would do in that case is take the sensor off and plug it directly in to your control. So now if your wire is bad, you'll know because the sensor is sensing properly and not giving you any errors or anything. But if it still comes up as like, you know, no, not reading or error or something, then it actually is a problem with the sensor. So now I'm gonna take either end of my alligator clip, put it on our old sensor, and don't even need to test the uh, outdoor sensor for this one. Open line. Most companies should give you a little booklet or something that comes with the sensor or thermistor uh, to give you those ohm readings. But a lot of times I've had to call tech support and go over with them and give them the readings I have. So um, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 